Samsung rolling out Jelly Bean to the Galaxy S3. Apple sells 5 million iPhones in just the weekend, and customers are already complaining about scuffs and scratches on their iPhones. I'm Jaime Rivera, apologizing for a very bad sore throat, and this is Pocket Now Daily. Now Samsung isn't playing any games when it comes to pushing their smartphone lineup and they're proving it again today. They've just officially announced their Android 4.1 Jelly Bean upgrade to the Galaxy S3 and they also announced that they'll be providing the upgrade to 10 other Samsung smartphones in the next coming weeks and that does include the Galaxy S2. Now the update is already rolling in Europe and countries like Poland and it should reach the United States very soon. It'll all depend on carriers but thumbs up for Sammy. And hey, what do you know, Apple already knows that we hate maps on iOS 6. Duh, because they're already hiring ex-Google Maps employees to get things fixed at Apple and get the ball rolling. Now, it's still unclear if Apple will be rolling a new version of iOS 6 for this to work, or if that will simply be worked in the servers, but whatever Apple does, I'm still waiting for Google to roll their official Google Maps for iOS. Apple just doesn't understand Maps. Now, Intel has sort of announced that they'll be rolling dual-core and quad-core processors for smartphones in the next coming months. We were all very disappointed with the Motorola Droid Razor i because it only had a single-core processor in this date, and even though it does have hyper-threading, it wasn't any better than any of the current Snapdragons in the market, so it's still unclear when Intel will be doing this, but our best guess is early 2013. Now, the iPhone 5 barely started selling last Friday, and already we've got some sales figures. According to Apple, they've sold a staggering 5 million units in just the opening weekend, which would make this Apple's best product launch in history, and obviously the best smartphone ever sold. Just to give you an idea, the crown belonged to the iPhone 4S last year and sold 4 million units on opening weekend, but hey, it's taking the Samsung Galaxy S3 three months to sell 100 million units, so competition is fierce. And finally, for the sad news of the day, I'm actually going to quote Johnny Ive here. The incredible precision that was used into manufacturing the iPhone 5 cut was sadly not precise enough. The review unit that we unboxed had a scuff at the top and customers are already complaining about unboxing their phones and receiving them with scratches and scuffs. So talk about a good reason to visit any genius bar close to you and getting a replacement unit. Yes, you can do that. And that leads me to the question of the day. Are you satisfied with your iPhone 5 after a couple of days of using it? Leave us a comment down below. Now, if you want an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and tablet world, don't forget to follow us on pocketnow.com. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera, again, apologizing for the sore throat. Thanks for watching.